Hi, I'm Scott, and today we're going to open up these Ryobi tools from the United Kingdom on Data It Yourself. Okay, let's dig right in on it. I'm going to use my Ryobi spring blade knife to open these boxes. There'll be a link to this one and all these other products down in the description if you're interested in getting one for yourself. Ooh, that's sharp. Okay, Ryobi RAK 20JB 20 20-piece 20 um, jigsaw drill bit set. Comes with all the different bits with a holder and comes with the case that fits in the uh, storage system. It's really nice. Okay. What's that? Ryobi UTB2 small tool bag. So this isn't a padded bag that comes with the tools normally. This is actually like a workshop bag. Like you would take to a job site and carry your tools in. Let's see what we got here. Flat bottom, pockets on the sides, two sides, three on this side, look at that. Nice logo, shoulder strap, Good. sub pocket there, a little one on the end, and a little one on the end. That's a really nice little bag. Ooh, what's this? I'm going to have to look through that later. This is the Ryobi UTB4 medium tool bag. It's really nice. I like the size of this one. Shoulder strap. Nice interior pocket. Let's see in there. It's like battery pockets on the ends. The battery pocket right there. Hold a screwdriver. Oh, the drill will go in there. That's nice. Same on that side. Flat bottom. Pockets all the way around on the outside for hand tools. And whatever. That's really nice. Again, that's the UTB4 utility bag. All right, for the next tool, I have the R. What do we got here? R18PF-0 power file sander, 18 volt. Sanding belts. And this, ooh, that's thick. Look at that instruction booklet. Bar. 
definitely 18 volts. Belt out here. And those are about half an inch. Let me check. Uh, yep, half an inch thick. Put that on there. It's that 120 grit. Ooh, you do that. There it is. Yeah, rotate that little handle. It, but I'll tell you, it's actually really tight. Still. Oh, there it is. Okay. Push that back down. Tighten that down. Check that for alignment in a second. 3 amp battery. So there's a plus. A minus, which tells me high speed, low speed. I can't see why reverse would work there, so let's try high speed. Got me a 2x4 right here. Pretty nifty uh, for getting in those places where you can't get in with a detail sander or you don't want to do it by hand. Nice little, lady. I mean, that's only about it's under an inch in diameter this way, and as we said, it's a half an inch this way. So that can get some real tight places, get some really good detail sanding, you know, in between balusters on a stairwell or if you're doing a a shop project where you're building a detail box or a piece of furniture, that's that's really neat to get in there. And uh, These are all, what is that, 60 grit? And this one is 80 grit. So 60, 80, and 120. And I'm sure you can get these belts online all the way up to probably in the 300 range. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that. Ooh. Button there, so you don't have to hold the switch. Yep. Cool. So the last item I have today is this Ryobi RWB03 portable workbench. Uh, it's got a vise in it, adjustable height. And all kinds of bells and whistles. We're going to unbox this thing and put it together.
I'm about halfway done putting this thing together. Had to run out and do a little job. Grab my bag. Check this thing out. Full. All kinds of stuff in there. Got my multi-tool, impact, the drill, a couple of batteries. Still plenty of room for this. All right, let's get back to this thing over here. So it's got these nifty bench dogs right here. Let's see if you can see that. And they just slide right in here in the top. Push down on the little button. Slide them into the channel. And you can swivel those around in all kinds of different degrees. And they also have a channel out here on the outside that they go to. This capacity right here, that's about eight inches. This is the clamping bar. It has about an inch and a half of travel from full open to full closed. And then this has two handle latches that you can slide this back and forth to get your uh, clamping on. The only interesting thing about this one is, I don't know if you guys can see it there, but this is in centimeters, this is in inches. So I have to remember that when measuring stuff, that this is in centimeters, not inches. So with the outer bench dogs installed, you get a full 16 inches of clamping area. So you can put a pretty wide board in here clamp it across the top of this and clamp it down solid and get a good working surface. This one's sitting right now about 42 inches off the ground, which is even a little high for me and I'm over six feet tall. So that's a nice uh, change. And to uh, lower that, you just pull on this bar right here and it uh, releases the dogs. It's actually easier from the other side. I can do it here. Oh, and it, nope, sorry, I had this thing turned around. Push on this bar, and it goes right down. And then you just go to the dog seat. There it is. And now we're sitting at 36, perfect. That's actually a really good height for me right there. I don't know how often I'll use this function, but this table actually tilts. You just Release these knobs, there's one on each side, push them in, goes down to the next detent, all the way to there. Pretty neat actually. Could have clamped something in sideways and work on it, or at an angle. It's a little hard with only two hands, it's kind of a three hand job. So there's everything, the large bag, small bag, sander, the jigsaw bits, and the work stand. I think I got a pretty good deal on those. Well, I got the workbench all put together and this thing is sturdy. I know, because I'm sitting on it. All 200 and something pounds of me uh, up on this thing and it is not moving, rattling, or wiggling. Um, if you're interested in any of the stuff I talked about today, the small bag, the medium bag, and the belt sander from the United Kingdom, I'll have links in the description down below. And if you have any questions or comments, put those down below too. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here if you're interested. Subscribe button's right down there. Thanks for watching. Dad it yourself.